We're doing another challenge today. There might be other people that have done this challenge. I just haven't, you know, heard of them yet. I typed in the order that I usually do my makeup into ChatGPT, and then I asked it to randomize the order for me. That's what we're gonna do today. We're going to put our makeup on in a randomized order. Hopefully, I can make it slay. I'm not sure, it might turn out looking cray cray because some things are supposed to go before other things or else the things don't really work. The first thing on my list is blush. No foundation, no primer, just blush. We're going to use the Nude Sticks in Magenta Magic. This little, little cute little thing that we got from our Macy's box. It was our Macy's box. Remember, this is what she looks like. So we're gonna start off with the blush, I guess. Now y'all know your girl likes to uh, be borderline jigsaw. So that's what we're doing. We're doing borderline jigsaw. Pinky edition. <laughs> All right, we got our blush on. What's the next step? Eyeliner. Okay, so we're gonna do eyeliner and today is the She Glam. I'm gonna need y'all to come a little closer. All right, hopefully I can like line this eye without any issues because I always struggle with this eye. Okay, I think that's as similar as I'm gonna be able to get it. Y'all can back up just a little bit. Y'all need to be all up on your girl like that, okay? Back up. For concealer, I am gonna use the LA Girl, and this is the Pro Concealer in, what color is this? Beautiful Brawn. I don't think I've used this one on the channel before. Oof. I don't think I've used this one on the channel before. Maybe I have, I don't know. This is a tried and true. Before my pink lips, it was always LA girl, okay? I was the LA girl kind of girl. A little bit right there, a little bit right there, a little bit across the nose. We're contoured. This is blending out terribly because it has nothing to blend into. Like, what the heck? I mean, technically this is a form of like putting your makeup on. I think they call it underpainting or something like that, where you put like all your cream products products on underneath your foundations and stuff. I don't know, this isn't for me. All right, let's get this nose. Oh no, it's starting to dry down. Okay, hopefully foundation over all of this will fix it. I think that's as blended as I'm gonna get it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Bruh. Today we're gonna use the She Glam setting powder. Don't really have much to set, but we're gonna use our setting powder. It does actually look a little bit better after I put the setting powder on. So we're off to an okay start. It doesn't look terrible, right? Like, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it doesn't look terrible either. Okay. I'm gonna use the Mirabella in the color Sugar Spice. Okay, Sugar and Spice. And this is the cutest little bullet lipstick. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I didn't use this when I first got her cause she's more fall, but I did want to put her in a try on video. So we're gonna try her on today. Oh yeah, she goes on beautifully. This is a nice formula. Our lips are covered in uh, lipstick. I was gonna say lipstick, but that didn't sound right. But the other thing didn't sound right either, so. So we're doing the scara before the eyeshadow. We're going to use the Mac Stack that we got in our Macy's box. I told y'all to back up off me, but I need you to come a little closer so I can see what's going on. Hopefully this is better than the Magic Extensions because then that means I got two mascaras that are that girl. Ooh, this is actually pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. I like this stuff. This is some good stuff. I can already tell. It's built up my lashes so beautifully. Man, look at that. And y'all know, I don't really got lashes like that. Okay. So this one is actually really good. Maybe even better than the magic extensions. Oh. Okay, so we're going for the eyebrows today. Well, every time I do my makeup, I always do my eyebrows. So I don't know why I said today, like, you know, doing the eyebrows is just some, you know, random step that we're adding. We always do the eyebrows. And we're going to use the Physician's Formula. This isn't showing up as nicely as it usually does over the foundation. Like, usually I don't have to draw this hard to get some pigments. Yeah, it's definitely much more difficult to draw your eyebrows on when you don't have any foundation over them. All right, I think that's as good as that's gonna get. This actually doesn't look terrible. This blush color, I don't think it's for your girl. This color just looks really weird on me. It might not be my stilo. Ugh. And my eyebrows look so red because I had to like really draw them on super hard because the pigments were not showing up. Let's see, the next step. 
for concealer, we're gonna go back to LA Girl as well for the pro concealer in the color Cool Nude. Now this stuff is almost done. Like honestly, I probably should throw this away. I've had this for quite some time. Dude, I forgot about the eyeliner right there. I'm to blend. It'd be so hard to like blend around the other stuff that I've already done. It might be easier with a brush. Uh, okay, now for this part. Ooh, I think I got it on my eyeliner a little bit. Oh my God, what the is that? Ah! I look like a kid that like played in their parents' makeup. That's what I look like. All right, we're concealed. We're gonna go into the Wander Beauty palette, the one that I got in my BoxyCharm. I think it was last, last month. All right, let's start off with a transition shade, which I'm gonna go into Jen. Gotta try to watch out for the eyeliner, bruh. This is gonna be annoying. For the lid, I'm gonna go into Lindsay E. <laughs> Lindsay E. This really pretty green right here. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. That is a gorgeous green. Yeah, and it's going on so beautifully. Now, I'm gonna put something into my crease. I'm gonna use Mandy. Mandy right here. Or should I use the green? You know what? I am gonna use the green. I'm gonna go into Noreen. And I'm going to try to blend that into the crease. Without adding any products, I'm going to go into nothing. <laughs> I just said I'm not adding any products. I don't know why I started saying going into something. I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and diffuse that. I'm going to sweep Mandy just to add some more dimension. Very pretty, very pretty. And instead of using a shadow in my palette for my inner corner, I'm going to use the Bell and Argent thingamabobber that I got in my glam bag at some point. I don't remember when I got it. I just know I got it in glam bag. I'm going to just kind of draw that on right there. We did a little something. Not the most exciting inner corner, but it's inner cornering at least a little bit. All right, so now the shadows are done. Okay, I think it looks pretty cute, you know, when my glass is off. Let's see what the next step is. What exactly am I setting? Bunch of foolishness, that's what I'm setting. I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Finish Sheen Matte. Okay, this is a tried and true, we love her. She's that girl and she's affordable. She's an affordable girl. Our foolishness is set. Okay, so we're gonna prime. This is the Estee Lauder Futuristic Peptide Power Serum, Serum. Serum Primer. This cute little itty bitty squeezy breezy. What are these words I'm coming up with? Squeezy too. Okay, I'm gonna just put a little bit right there. Put a little bit right there and we're just gonna put it on like we normally do, okay? We're not gonna do anything differently. We're just gonna put it on like we normally do. Rub this in. Okay, at least this is before the foundation, all right? At least this is before the foundation. It feels so wrong. This feels wrong on so many levels, but it doesn't seem to be messing up my makeup. It actually made it look a little better. I'm not gonna lie. For bronzer, we're gonna use a state. Okay, a state in the color Coco. I just realized I didn't add highlighter to my list. So since I didn't add it to my list, I'm just gonna put highlighter on last. It's finally time for foundation. And today we're gonna use our She Glam. Like I said, we're putting this on the same way we always do. It's a hot mess. It's like erasing all the work I just did. Be too difficult to try to get on there. We finally have foundation on our face and it looks a hot mess. Okay, this isn't even the same color, bruh. But I'm too afraid to try to put it on over there because I feel like I'm gonna mess up my eyeshadow. Rock in a fucking hard place. I'm going to use my ColourPop Lippy Pencil because I figured it would go really nicely with this colored lip, so. We're overlining the lips today. The lips are in line. Finally, highlighter. We're gonna be using the 1990. We're gonna be using the 1990. We're gonna be using the 1990 in the shade Miel. This is the final look. I mean, for what it's worth, I don't think it looks terrible. Okay, it don't look good, but it don't look terrible. Honestly, I love this eyeshadow look. I really wanna redo the whole thing and then just do the eyeshadows the way I want to do the eyeshadows with the same color scheme, because these colors are absolutely gorgeous. I'll probably do this challenge again and then just mix up the order even more with ChatGPT. I think this turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm shooketh.
Tell me what y'all think. Did I make it work or does it still look a hot tanky mess? If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.